In 2015, Spender came from California to Colorado and had quite the summer in the Rocky Mountain State. Owned by Aislin Vences, trained by Miguel Pena and ridden by Russell Vishrilli, Spender captured the $92,000 Rocky Mountain Derby. Gates open, the Rocky Mountain Derby is underway. Sweet Solid Rock with a perfect beginning. The fastest qualifier goes to the lead. From Spender in the red silks on the inside, PYC Showdown trying to run on with BP Mariah's heroine. Here's Spender coming through for Russell Vishrilli, grabbing the lead from Sweet Solid Rock and winning the Rocky Mountain Derby. Then he took the cash in the $144,000 Mile High Derby to cap an undefeated run of four races at Arapahoe Park. Spender getting going down the outside in the pink, and here comes Spender, the Rocky Mountain Derby winner with giant strides, traveling smoothly, passing Toshiyoshi. Spender and Russell Vishrilli win the Mile High Derby. This year, it's Air Force One, who's flown to new heights since coming from the Golden State. Representing owner Vensi's quarter horse, trainer Alejandro Chavez and jockey Ramiro Garcia, Air Force One dominated the Atacuan Arapaho Derby Challenge. Gates open the Atacuan Arapaho Derby Challenge is underway. Three Olives and Smoke stumbled, has a lot of work to do. Royal Quick Eagle going to the lead. Air Force One running strongly on the outside and then Turner Loose Foos and Persistent PYC. It's Air Force One taking flight and kicking clear for Ramiro Garcia. Air Force One is the winner over Royal Quick Eagle. Photo for third place, maybe fantastic SA and an unlucky Three Olives and Smoke. Then he posted the fastest 350-yard qualifying time for the Rocky Mountain Derby to be run on Saturday with a purse of $99,000. Gates open, the fifth trial is underway. Air Force One off a step slow, but now quickly recovers and takes off for the lead. Unforgiven B down the center, and then La Santita Corona in between that pair. But look at Air Force One and Ramiro Garcia go. They've pulverized the field, kicking well clear for another dominant victory. Air Force One defeats Unforgiven B and La Santita Corona. His competition in the finals includes the 2015 winner of the Rocky Mountain Futurity, Colorado bred Three Olives and Smoke. Gates open, the Rocky Mountain Futurity is underway. Not the best of starts for Three Olives and Smoke. Has some work to do to get to Houdat on the outside. Let her be on the inside in Eagles Camp trying to run through. Now Three Olives and Smoke getting going, passing Houdat. Kicking clear for Stormy Smith, and Three Olives and Smoke wins the Rocky Mountain Futurity. However, Three Olives and Smoke, who was compromised when he stumbled at the start of the Atacuan Arapaho Derby Challenge, was upset in the Rocky Mountain Derby Trials by Silver Citizen. Three Olives and Smoke's John Hamus trained stablemate, that's a fact Jack, won a Rocky Mountain Trial Race. Gates open, the sixth trial is underway. A swift beginning for Devil's Painted Bag in the center. That's a fact, Jack, on the inside. And then give me a reason, baby. And in the air tonight, as they race through the stretch, Eagles Camp is starting to let loose down the outside. It's that's a fact, Jack, with the advantage. And that's a fact, Jack, pulls away from the field for the victory. But Chichinator will try to channel his namesake's knack for finding the finish line. Former Arapaho Park leading quarter horse jockey, Elliot Bachicha Jr. Gates open, the third trial is underway. A quick beginning for Danny Boy. Springs out of the gates and heads to the lead from Bachichinator to his inside. Then Silver Tarzan along the rail. Bookish trying to run on down the outside. Here comes Bachichinator and Bookish is running a good race too. Bachichinator and Bookish and Bachichinator will hold on for the win over Bookish. Photo third place, Silver Tarzan and Danny Boy. Now to Sunday's $117,000, 350-yard Rocky Mountain Futurity for two two-year-olds. In cahoots, flew under the radar when he sprung a 23-to-1 upset in the Cherry Creek Futurity on June 5th. Gates open, the Cherry Creek Futurity is underway. A sharp beginning for In Cahoots going to the lead from Stablemate, who you know, Mary 1-0 down the outside, Carver's Corona, and stir up fun on the inside. In Cahoots and Alfredo Triana Jr. have the lead, Carver's Corona along the inside. It's In Cahoots who gets the win over Carver's Corona. In Cahoots continued his winning ways in the Rocky Mountain Futurity Trials on June 24th. 
Gates open. Fourth trial is underway. In cahoots, springs out of the gates. A great beginning for the Cherry Creek Futurity winner being chased by stablemate Bruce Almighty. And then down the outside is because it is what it is. It's in cahoots with the advantage holding on from Bruce Almighty. And in cahoots, powers away. In cahoots and Alfredo Triana Jr. Three out of three at Arapaho Park. The top three qualifiers to the Rocky Mountain Futurity, Mini Mink, Bout Tree Fitty, and Who You Know, were all in the first trial. Gates open. The first trial is underway. Some scrimmaging on the inside. Who you know avoids it and charges out to the early lead. Bout Tree Fitty running strongly along the inside of him. And then Kissin Corona is in between that pair. Mini Mink along the rail. It's who you know with the advantage from Mini Mink and Bout Tree Fitty. They come to the line. A three-way photo finish. Mini Mink, Bout Tree Fitty, and who you know in the first trial. The Rocky Mountain Derby and Futurity are part of a big weekend of quarter horse stakes races that also includes the Muriel Arapaho Distaff Challenge. The winner of that race will join Air Force One as Arapaho Park's representatives at the American Quarter Horse Association Challenge Championships at Los Alamitos Race Course on October 29th. Jennifer Hancock from the AQHA's Wrangler Racing Aces program will be at Arapaho Park this weekend. There will be a wagering do's and donuts class on Sunday where fans can learn more about horse racing while enjoying free donuts, coffee, and programs. But don't give the donuts to the horses. They'll need to be at top fitness. Although maybe the winners can indulge after the races.